Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna go through how to build yourself a trap in Lords Mobile. So if you want to start trapping, you don't know how to do it, you don't know where to begin, well this is the perfect video for you. So let's get right into it. So first things first, the troops. Most important, you need to have a good comp to be able to take these rallies. So what I do all, all the time, I have 500 of these at least I have one M right now I get 1k these 100k sorry and I get 100k of these or 50k 50k is fine you don't need that much I get a lot of these here because you're gonna get Pyrus a lot of times Wait. yeah Pyrus just gonna throw uh, fireballs at you when you cap rally so always fun to have little T1 to take them uh, for T2, depending on how many rallies you want to take, like 4 million each is perfectly fine. You'll be able to take rallies, you'll be able to heal them and keep good, a little low might. I have a lot more, 8M, 9 million, 8 million, and 5 million. Uh, I keep a lot more because I don't want to move um, infirmaries to ma manors every so often because I take a lot of rallies. So I just push a little more. I was 10 M each, but I took a lot of damage. <laughs> so yeah, that's good. No T3 needed. Not as well of these, no needed. Uh, as T4 now. So it's gonna depend on your gear a lot and on what kind of account you want to be rallying you. So if you move around in Baron Kingdoms, in very strong kingdoms where you're gonna get 11 Ks, maxed Astralite, you want at least two million of each, depending of the gear, obviously. So my gear is very strong in terms of non-champ. So I have a lot of damage. So I don't need that much T4. Obviously they're gonna have a lot of health. So to make sure they don't have a walk back, they don't get your comp, you need a lot. So normally I do, like this is my normal uh, setup. I do 2 million, 2.5 and 3. Just to make sure I can keep uh, doing more damage as possible. These are in the back, so they always hit. It's always fun to have more. In my opinion obviously so I like having a little more T4 uh, cannoneers here uh, here is go you can see like a lot of T1 to take the Pyrus we have a couple here to make your front and here today deal all the damage so that's a good comp you want to go if you want to lo lower might obviously you can go 2 million each and 4 million here or even here if you want to take uh, lower accounts rallies like non-champ non account uh, not a lot of castle stars and everything you can like go 1.5 of each you'll be good, able to cap a lot of rallies anyways so that's it for the troops uh, for the research which is the most important obviously so here is a must you must do these for the t4s so you get that to 10 defense you don't want to do any defense because it's useless might and repairing your wall is very annoying i sadly did a lot of it because yeah oopsies but yeah you don't want anything in here nothing 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 keep everything at zero military obviously you max it out the counters are the most important you're gonna need for a rally trap because you don't have a lot of stats because you don't have research here you're all almost empty on all research so you're missing out on a lot of stats so counters are a must. You must do them right now with the strength of every leader right now. Counter is a must. Here, monster hunt, it's at your discretion. I did a little bit of it to get uh, here. I didn't max it out completely because I don't really need to hit level five monsters. But it's always good to have if you're gonna be more f towards the free to play version because you need to hit monsters to get gear. You get good speeds up, uh, speed up. You get good of everything. So Monster Hunt, if you're um, fully f play to play, you don't need you don't need this. You're just gonna buy everything. But if you're more uh, more towards the free to play, this is a good trait to have. It's, it's good might. It gives a little might, but it's fine. The reward is worth it. Here, defense again. You want you don't want anything in there. Keep it empty. Military. Here, you're gonna depend on how many swaps you want i got two because that's all i need but yeah you're gonna you, you need those for the the trap you don't need any here 
here like the lowest possible and everywhere just to keep things uh, low might as possible I did some barrack expansion I did some of these for the quick swaps but honestly that's all I need you don't need anything else here for the army leadership I maxed it out it, this is uh, your choice honestly because this uh, tree gives around 120 million might which is kind of a lot but you get here it's 10% enemy army attack less it weakens it but it's uh, exponential so if they like, have like a thousand percent attack the, you, you remove 100% not 10 because it's exponential it's 10% of their thousand so it's gonna be minus 100 so these are fun to have if you take like big big rallies Oh, of course you get a 10% here which are good and obviously wedges which are very good for traps here military command you just need breakthrough that's all you need if you're gonna go for mythic if you don't have mythic yet you don't need it but it's a little might it's not a lot of might so yeah mythic is always good here familiars less possible you don't even need anything here honestly uh, pack ones are fine that's all you need this I went to get pack twos for a little more thingy if a little more familiars but you don't need it uh, familiar battle here you need for rally trap at least you need at least three you want to get three slots minimum so keep everything low like not high level get keep uh, keep the might low if you want to make a rally party trap I recommend getting the fourth slot it's a familiar and familiar do a lot of work in these rallies so getting the fourth one is not bad for rally parties if you're a normal rally trap you know you don't need this three is fine three is fine here for sigils you don't need anything in these water battle same thing gear it's it's for you honestly I did a little bad expansions for using 24 hours but like these it's to you if you want to go for a little t4 or t5 trap you can get these three here it gives good stats like 10% of each here attack HP and everything so that's not bad but it's a lot of might so you're gonna it's it's for you I don't like t5 I prefer t4 it's, it's just a job and this is expensive and to keep up and everything so this is your discretion I recommend not doing it but if you want to do it it's it's to you here again nothing keep it empty so like with this research I have a lot of wall research well with just this research I have um, something where is it which one is it <laughs> it's this one okay with this I have 2020 uh, two thousand two hundred twenty six thousand my of research I have player levels this, this is just base quests keep it low possible I got 4 million because I keep accepting <laughs> I keep accepting them accidentally but yeah uh, keep it very keep it the lowest you can for the might here because all you need is this might right here you need the most root possible buildings are yeah you need buildings quests keep it zero if you can it's harder for levels because you don't do quests but like you're not stressed you're trapped just do your thing get your gear up and level up slowly you don't need to rush anything uh for the wall now so you have everything so i have p to play heroes on my wall but if you want to do like more of a normal wall i recommend this leader because it fits with everything so they never know like if uh if you have like uh, this they might think oh maybe he's in front and everything you can use it to bait but this is just good overall so good good trap good uh, heroes for wall art would be a demon slayer here i have chat of light which is very good for cavalry this is also good night raven but you don't need it really uh, this is good if you don't know what they're sending it's just a flat 20 percent army attack so it's 60 percent army attack so it's pretty good but if you if you know like you, you know you're gonna get range just get uh the extra hp here for your range so snow queen is always a good one uh if you can't get watcher where is it yeah watcher gold would be optimal because it gives army max hp sorry army max hp army attack and you can put it as your leader so that's good you can always change the back ones whenever so this is very good if you can't get it obviously boomeister gives a flat uh 10 on everything 
without even having needing to have it uh, on your wall. So that's always good to farm as well in Dragon Arena. Uh, other good heroes, infantry. This one's good. Old Keeper is always good. Uh, and that's mostly it for the wall heroes. This is all right, but like it doesn't give HP. So is this? It doesn't give any HP. So HP is very good. We love HP trap traps. You love HP. You need the most HP. Uh, you can. It's always fun. Of course, uh, Chronicler. If you can max it, if you can spend a little, this is the hero I tell you to get. Uh, it gives 15% on counters everywhere. I'm just finishing mine slowly. But yeah, if you want to pay for heroes, like, if you want to spend a little on the trap, I recommend Chronicler. It's very good. Uh, Berserker for my wall, just to finish it. So these are the most useful heroes to use. Uh, for the Famiers, now you don't need pack 5. Pack 5 is just a big upgrade, but like you don't need it. I got uh, here, uh, I don't even know its name, but this dude, which gives 15% uh, max HP, which is just good. Here it reduces their max HP by 50%, which is amazing as well. Uh, I got this one for reducing the infantry max HP, so it helps me take less damage. I kill them faster, so it's always fun to have. These are mostly not useful because you need to lose 10% of your troops, which is a lot of troops. So, like, it's a good, it's okay, but like, 10% of your troops is humongous. Like, I have a pretty big trap on troops wise, and I have 31 million, which I have a lot here to heal. You have uh, 1.1 million here. So I have be like 32 million. So I have to lose 3.2 million troops before my familiar activates. And if you see like rallies I take, like I take this one. This one I got countered and I got 3.1. So it would have triggered, but I got countered. Like and sent uh, inf on my range. So like it, it won't proc. Like this one here, that's like 680. And in like, it won't have activated, so it's kind of useless on your wall. So always keep, if you want to keep it free to play, you get these th these two here, and these you get all three versions. So the infantry max HP, let's go to here, be easier to explain. Right here, so you have this one here for the infantry. You have, uh, I don't know which one they are. This one here for the cavalry, not this one. Uh, this one for the range. So these three are good. You also have the this one. So the flat 15% on infantry. Flat 15%. If you're uh, if you're lacking on uh, this one, yeah, cavalry. If you're lacking on any of these damages, on these troop damage, you can always put it on their wall. They're always always good. So these are the free to play versions. So yeah, that's it for the wall. Now, uh, what's next? You have troops building. Obviously, when you want to trap. The, mo the most uh, infirmaries you can have gives you HP, so it's always good, and you can raise a lot more troops. But people like to do, uh, t I think, one barrack and two manors, and the rest infantry. So you can always keep making troops. But I don't keep making troops. I just remove all my infirmaries, put manors, and boost a lot of troops, and redo it all the time. So that's my way, but if you want to do it like more free-to-play friendly, just have one barrack, two manners, and keep pushing troops on a daily. So here for resources, I have only these three, so I can change infirmaries to manners, but uh, you can have like a lot. Like if you want to be a hyper or something for your guild, it's okay. It doesn't add that much might. Like, well, is this how much might it is? And then it's just, I don't know where. But yeah, it's barely any might. Oh, if I demolish it, maybe. I don't want to demolish it because I'm scared. I think there's another message after this. Let's try it. Yeah. So that's one, 126,000 might. That's barely nothing. Like, you can max it out. It's okay. Uh, here, for the gear. Okay, gear is, is quite the most important with the troops. So, for gear, this is probably the, this is the most optimal for free to play. Bumble Helm gives a lot of army max HP and good stats for uh, attack you have also this version for the free to play it's easier to get than the, the bumble helm it's still still work you need 10 of these every time so it's it's not that easy 
but yeah this one's not bad either it doesn't give that it doesn't give any hp uh you hear sorry 9.5 max hp here and if i max it on mythic it gives 21 so that's not bad but compared to this of 28 you get seven percent more more stats and attack and everything so i prefer the bumble helm here personally this one's all right it's a good version it's a good uh if you can have this this is good as well uh, this obviously is pretty easy to make and gives good army HP, so I don't see why you would go any other than the firewall plate. Just keep going this. This is pretty easy to get. It's not that expensive. I cannot see, but yeah, it's not that expensive. Uh, and like, it doesn't have to be mythic. If you guys have it... There's a second one, yeah. But I have a mythic, like, you can have it purple. It's, it's okay, just be careful of what... Uh, Rally leads hit you if you don't have like the gear to take it because they can hurt a lot Here dragon talent is good So there's a the good one the free to play version This one's very hard to get you need to pay mostly because pearls are very hard to get But this is honestly the most optimal from uh, the Like free to play versions not chat. No, I would say non champ version but if you you're to get this, you can also get the champion. Here for my gear, I would get these, which give cat, cav attack and great army HP with the army attack. So these are always a good option instead of going uh, these ones, storm tacits, because they're pretty much the same price, honestly. Uh, this is good. Frostwing is honestly a good option. The most op the, the, the optimal for uh, free to play. This is pretty easy to get. See, I got like three here for baiting. I have a lot of hearts still. So these these are easy to get. If you can get the skull crusher, it's honestly better for the max HP. But uh, the frost wing is good. You don't have to push this. Uh, for the often, it's obviously the mitts. Like ah, uh, you can wear um. You can have this other one. This one's alright. It gives uh, attack if you're lacking. Uh, not this one, sorry. This one here. It gives attack, cap, max HP, but honestly, this one's better. If you're lacking damage, it's okay, but yeah, just go this one. Here we have the other one. Uh, which one? This one here. It gives 28% army max HP and 30% cap attack. So the HP is pretty good, and it's a level 50 gear, so it's pretty easy to craft. You just need two of these. So you can get this one mythic pretty easily. But like, this one's, uh, the winter mitts are pretty easy to get as well. You only, you only need four bells. So, you can get this at start if you want to take rallies early, but just get these at the end. You can get, just get the winter mitts. Uh, for the main hand we did, helmet we did. Okay, for the accessories here. There's a lot of options. Obviously, Blight Drink is a good one. Army Max HP 21. Cups is probably the most optimal because it gives great damage and great HP. Just not Cav. So, Cav, you want to take least damage, at least uh, Cav front possible. Unless you're countering, obviously. But having these other two fronts with the Max HP is pretty good. So, normally, people do one Cup, one Blight Drink, and one. Uh, burning scroll which gives okay like 12% and 12% here on army attack and max HP so these are good as well uh, dragon's iris a good option as well 13 on these two and 14 on the max HP so that's not bad try and avoid these like uh, the fear drum and the Turovile. it gives good attack but the HP is just not it and it's only on cav and infantry so HP is what you need the most so HP here HP here is good this one's 11, if you wanted, this one's alright, I guess. 11.2 max HP, and if you're lacking ranged attack, you can do it. Uh, here, always good, but like, they're way expensive, so not worth it. A champion, obviously, is good, but yeah, it's pretty expensive. <laughs> so yeah, just get a cup, a blight ring, and just scroll. Or if a cup is too expensive, you can get a worm seal in there. And uh, dragon iris, these are good, all good options. So that's it for the gear. Obviously, the jewels. The jewels here. These are the most optimal for pay to play. These are alright, like Saber, a Trojan, and Grim. They give like this, the max HP, but like it's it's not that good. 
you have better options. Champion jewels, if you could get uh, some, it's obviously very good. Like the most you can have in your gear, the best it is. Here, same thing for terror jewels. Like they give ten. Here, uh, the worm they give ten. Here, like it's good, but it's it's not optimal. Like ten, it's just, it's okay. Here, you don't need any. I don't want to see any death jewels in your gear. Like this is completely useless. It's gonna change like barely anything. You you better to go with some attack. These are the best ones. Obviously, you get them twenty attack. Like on my gear here, we have all three of them. Like I just have these on repeat, 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 repeat. Here I have a purple champion jewel and purple cav jewel, so I'm trying to finish them. But yeah, just get these. You get them slowly, and like guild shop, you can buy a couple of jewels here. Obviously, the best option is the migration scrolls, because as a trap, you're gonna move a lot, because it's hard to stay under the radar as a trap. Uh, Verge way, obviously, you want to finish it the fastest possible because, like, mine is not done, but it all gives great stats. Like, not maybe not this, <laughs> yeah, cav, H cav HP 1%, attack 1%. Here, infantry max HP, cav attack. So, these are just flat stat that you get for zero might. These doesn't give might. So, this is just flat stat that are very good. For traps because we need them st any stats we can get we get it so this we need these try and finish it uh now for the here artifacts so gold ones obviously you want to keep your um like here if you have like a lot of stars a lot of levels and uh what is it called like the embellished one like the the upgraded version I have a couple here. I think I have blue ones. Yeah, this ones. Ascend. Yes, this is Ascend. I think. Yeah, if you Ascend them, it shows like you may be a little strong. You may be uh, having a little things in the back. So obviously I did a little leveling here. Because I don't think it was that bad. Because I'm in Titan Kingdom, so all the stats I can get, I get. But I got like, I focus on gold mostly. Gold gives the best stats. Like these are amazing. Like these... These three here, if you get these three, this is the most, the, the best one you can get. Like 24, 24, 12, anytime. So focus on gold to keep your mind low. Uh, keep your uh, stars and levels low in terms of blue and purple. Here for the talents. Talents are pretty good. So talents, obviously you keep the most of these. You don't want defense. It's not good. Defense is not that good. So just get the HP here 87% get these three maxed here and now go on whatever you base you need more damage in so I just did inf and uh, range because cav eh, cav, cav attack is good I'm lacking cav attack but I rather just get playing these personally that's my opinion but yeah try and balance every damage out so technically I would do 10 here for my cab because I'm very low in cab. So get these. But that's you don't need the army uh, defense. Indeed, like just max it to get. Obviously, max this one for the attack. Uh, for the formations here. So cab uh, cab phalanx. You uh, you didn't barely put that one. Like this one's not good. Like this is the the cab is in front. So normally when you go cab, they go inf you'll have your range attacking which is getting countered so not doing that much damage and uh, inf is in the back so it takes time to walk up you know so this one's not that good just go this one here you're gonna get, go get your cat against your their inf inf on inf next and these ones always attack they're in the back their range so it's gonna attack anyway so just this one's not worth it just go wedge here same thing when I go here just know cav runs a lot runs a lot faster than inf so if you put them in the back compared to the inf, it's gonna get there way faster, way, way faster. And again, if you go range, normally they go the cab, right? So here you have uh, inf right here, so they get countered. But they don't get hit anyway, so they do less damage, but these ones gonna come fast anyways, so it's it's all right. I prefer range phalanx. If you're not sure what they're sending, go range wedge. It's always good. Here, same thing for the infantry. 
infantry phalanx. He has a range in the back, so they always hit. It's pretty useful. Infantry wedge, you got cav in the back, so they run fast anyways. So this is not big of a difference. But yeah, if you if you know they're sending range, just go like this one. So ring it. Uh, this one here because range attacks this one go faster so they get like right in their face already So yeah, personally I go in phalanx range phalanx and cab wedge are the three like I would go like, These are my three favorites. Of course, there's times you go these but uh, barely 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 It's it doesn't make much of a difference, but it does it uh, heroes, uh, the leader obviously, try and get something that versatile, uh, versatile. so mostly Rose Knight, if you have Watcher, put Watcher. These are the two uh, best ones to have as a leader. Uh, as of Army Attack, these are good to proc once in a while if you think you want to make sure to cap it. If you're getting doubled, put, put these on. Like, if they get your scout, it's okay, you're gonna move Kingdom anyways. So like 20% flat on army attack is 60% of all your troops total. total. You get 70, that's a 210% damage worth. So these are huge. So always be using them. Like I have 212, 27 of them, I, I can use them here. Here are more, like when you take a lot of rallies, like there's a triple, you're in furry, you cannot shield. 70% is gonna do a lot of work for you. Uh, anti scout, you can. Most people now, like, if you see my account, I have a lot of kills. So if I uh, on shield with an anti scout, they won't rally me. Like, most people, they'll just test, uh, they'll just scout, figure out I don't have anti scout, and just leave. So if you want to bait, bait anti scout, make sure you have everything free to put on your wall. Like, here, if I bait anti scout, uh, without anti, so they can get my scout, I go this. Uh, right here, I do this. So I have two inf heroes, I have two cav ish heroes, and one range. So I never stay in range blast here. Like here, when I bait, I'm in this mostly. So they send cav, and I go range. So I do this. Family leader, same thing. Keep the family leader simple. And whenever they, there's 20 seconds, 30 seconds to the rallies. Just change it up. Put your, you can just do this and yeah. You can do this and this because I'm gonna be taking in range fouling in the range front. So get the HP for the range. Here you can just do this, get your pack fives, and you're ready to go. Uh, so, anyways, you can see a lot of my videos. Uh, when I bait anti scouts, you just can see at the end that I change everything when there's like 20 seconds. So, when you're ready, just wait for the rally. You can have here on your bag, prepare your random relocator, be on gear, whatever the walk, change gear, and relocate. So, they're after cancelled. Easy, easy rally take. And if you're lucky, they don't have, to, they don't have time to change gear because people send their rallies and. Uh, when they walk, they send it uh, in speed gear, so it, go, it goes there faster. So if you do it fast enough and you're sure they're sending, uh, let's say, cav and you're going range front, if you're sure they're sending cav, just, uh, just random relocate. So they don't have time to change gear if you're lucky, take less damage. So for familiars, let's go back to this familiar, sorry. Here, Jade Worm. You can get back five. These, this one's amazing. Gives you 15% flat. Can I see the max? But yeah, max one is 15%, uh, 15%, and 15% here. So this is huge. Like, Jade Worm plus Chronicler. Here, Chronicler here. Which gives 15, 15, 15. Plus your counter in your research. This is 60% counter boost, which is humongous. It's huge. So if you can get those, you can you get them. If not, it's okay. You'll be fine without them. Here, like I said, pack five. Here's kills. Uh, not the, army max HP always good. Here you have army max HP in the battle free, army attack. So just always keep maxing them, so you get flat stats. Same thing for here. You can get maybe not like these are not that good, but you can have any. You can have good ones to max out. Here, uh, VIP levels. 
this is very hard to to set up like to think of what you want to do so vip 15 can be scary in kingdoms like people don't normally look at it but if they see vip 15 is uh 500,000 my uh, 500 million might it's something sketchy going on so you want to be careful with this but the level 15 here gives a flat 15% and 10% max HP, which is 5 and 10% more than VIP 14. So it's pretty good to have. But if you're in lower kingdoms and everything, it just uh, you, you don't need it. Like here, VIP 11, you get all the stats. Here, 5, 5, 5. That's all you need. Just get VIP 11 if you want to stay, stay under the radar. If you want to go for it, go VIP 15, get the bonus here. But uh, it's your decision only. And VIP 15 is kind of pricey if you're free to play. Also, with the war bot, when you try a bait, if the day resets and you gain VIP points, they'll know it. They'll get a notification saying, uh, gained VIP points two hours ago, let's say. So VIP 15, they don't know. They, they, they have no idea. So I bait a lot. Whenever they resets, I hate having my thing and know I'm online. So VIP 15 covers me for that that's pretty good uh taking rallies you want to stay under the radar change name of course change castle skins i have a couple one two three four five just keep rotating them uh relocate obviously change name you want to make sure they don't keep your gear uh migrate you don't have to change like if you change name migrate migrate come back they won't know your gear you don't know you they'll take your stranger here, same thing, icon, just change it, anything. Free to play, obviously. Don't put these pay to play ones. Uh, well, this one wasn't pay to play, these two wasn't pay to play, but yeah. Just don't put pay to play ones, because they'll be, you'll be more sketchy. They might try and bamboozle you, bamboozle you and stuff. Keep it, keep it simple. Keep it free to play for everyone to see. Uh, here, familiars, you can have, you can have gyms, you can have things to live under level everything up but i got all the familiars i need here i'll just be maxing my uh, jade worm and that's it i'm done with everything so the extra might here i didn't need anything here also gems are good you like gems and this doesn't give much might so if you can get in nine you can do it it's barely anything the 85 uh, 89,000 might won't change much and gems you want gems gems are good Gems are your friend when you're in trap because you relocate a lot, you move a lot, you change name a lot. So gems, you want gems. Uh, and I think that's it for all the trapping video. Alright, thank you all for watching. This was a quick tutorial on how to make yourself a rally trap. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll answer whenever I can. Uh, other than that, I wish you guys all good luck on the Lord's Mobile Kingdoms. Don't get burned, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.